The weatherman forecasted rain today, but it has not happened yet. So originally my plan was to just do some work in the shop today while it rained. But I'm thinking now that since it's still dry outside, I want to take advantage of that and try to do a little bit of mowing out in the pasture. If we get rained out, then I've got plenty of work waiting for me back here. But for now, let's see how much we can get done. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Well, as you look around out here, you can really tell which kind of grass they like and which kind they don't. The stuff that they're not touching is uh, really tough to mow. So I can only imagine that they don't like it because it's kind of probably hard to chew as well. The one saving grace here though, is that after I mow it off and it lays out on the ground and has a chance to dry, they generally will eat it then. My hope by doing this, by cutting this off and letting it dry and, you know, when they come through the next time, they should eat it. Uh, but it's because we're kind of reaching the end of our grazing season or our growing season. And I just, I'm trying to do everything I can to extend that as far as possible. And I basically my goal is to not start feeding hay until I absolutely have to. In addition, to mowing this um, I'll probably be taking coal cows next week to try to minimize the pressure on the grass and hopefully we can at least get into October before we have to start feeding hay although the Sun is shining on me now it, it just keeps threatening to rain it'll spit on me for a little bit and then it stops and kind of back and forth like that so I think uh, I'm not done with this yet, but I got a pretty good chunk out of it. I can do the rest in a couple days when it dries out. I think it's time to run down and get some work done in the shop. I'm back in the shop now. I think I made the right decision coming back here because I can see the weather is starting to turn. I don't know how much of that background noise you guys are going to be able to hear, but the wind's blowing. It's, it's starting to rain a little bit, so hopefully it's not too annoying. There are two things on my project list that I need to get done in the shop and one of those is I need to make a gate for the bullpen. The other is I need to make a three-point bale spear and I don't really know which one I want to do first but I'm kind of leaning towards the bale spear so I think that'll be a good project for today.
All right, I think I've got everything I need here on the table to build this, so I'm gonna quit talking and let you guys watch this come together.
Well, there you have it, a nice little three-point bale spear. This is a super simple project, and honestly, the materials that you need to do this are, are not much either. So I've got less than four feet of square tubing here, a little bit of half inch plate for my tabs and then obviously the spears themselves and that's pretty much it. At the last minute I decided to weld the little gooseneck ball here on the top. I've been wanting a way to move the gooseneck trailer with the tractor if I needed to and I figured you know let's make this dual purpose because I'm not really going to use it all that much as a three-point spear but it'll be nice to have that extra bit of functionality. My plans for the three-point spear are, first of all, I think when I'm picking up hay out of the field, it'll be nice. I can put the three-point spear on my dad's tractor, and while I'm running around out there, I can pick up one with the loader and then one with the three-point. So that should make picking the hay up out of the field go a lot faster because I can carry around a lot more hay on the tractor. The second reason that I would like to have this is in the unfortunate event that my aid end breaks down or is incapacitated for several days or months or who knows, um, I can put the three-point spear on the New Holland, assuming that it's still running, and I'd, I'll just need to get a loader tractor down at the ranch like once a week or so. I can pull bales down and line them up on the ground, and then throughout the week, I'll be able to feed using the new Holland and the three-point spear. So for that reason, I hope that I never really need it, but you know, last year I just got to thinking that, you know, if that old 8N was to break down, I would be in a pretty tough spot. So now I've at least got some sort of a plan B in case that happens. I think that this is also gonna come in really handy for moving around my six-foot round bills. I've got nine of them at the ranch and they weigh around a thousand pounds a piece. The front end loader on that 8N can pick those up, but it is a, a huge strain for that tractor. And not only does it strain the loader and the hydraulics, but all the front end and steering components. It'll be nothing for this though. I mean, this three point, I think will lift like 2000 pounds or 3000 pounds or something like that. So one of those six foot round bills will be no problem for this. I think that this spear will lift high enough that I could put those six footers into my mobile feeder once I get it done. I haven't even really started on that and I was thinking about that the other day. That really needs to happen soon. So. Now that I kind of know the parameters that I have to work with on this, I'll make sure that I'm able to pick up a six footer and back it into the mobile feeder and then maybe grab like another one to slide the first one through. But I think we're going to get a lot of good use out of this. There's probably jobs that I'll use this for that I haven't even thought of yet. I think implements that are like guns and fishing poles. You can never have too many. So I think that's going to do it for that project and the work isn't going to stop in here. I need to start getting this oil pipe down and coping and notching the end so that I can make my gate for the bullpen and on and on we go. Thanks for hanging out with me today guys and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.